got words are tools of communication. We admit to God that sometimes words are hard to come by. When we seek to express the very depth of our thanksgiving, words sometimes fall short as we seek to bless your name to give and ascribe honor and praise to you and so dear God how do we describe a love so true. And how do we explain the goodness of your son Jesus? So we ask the God that when words fail, when every utterance seems to be inadequate, we ask you to God right now to listen to our heart. Heavenly Father, we stand before you right now with a heart of thanksgiving. Amen. We, we, we bow before your yes, yes. throne of majesty, majesty and splendor and might and glory and beauty, knowing to God that the fact that you are holy, you are an inapproachable light. The very fact that you allow us access into your throne room presence, not by our righteousness, but by the righteousness of your son Jesus. We're amazing. And so dear God, we humbly bow before you, acknowledging that you are God. You are the creator. You are the sustainer. You are the giver of all good things. And that we receive every blessing, we say thank you. And we receive every grace uh, you've given us the thing that we don't even deserve. Amen. We say thank you. Amen. And for every expression of mercy, knowing that you have held back the very punishment that is due us, we say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for being a good God, for being gracious towards us. Even when we don't get it right, you love us. Not because of, but in spite of the fact that we are fallen, our finite creatures. But you ascribe and pay value on us. And for your grace, we are amazed. But we do say this because we understand your boundless love and your matchless love, your infinite, your infinite grace towards us. We commit to this, that we will strive to walk in a manner worthy of the very gospel that has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light of your dear son. We thank you for the great exchange, for the Bible tells us that you made your son who knew no sin to become sin for us so that we may become uh, righteous in your sight because of our position in Christ Jesus. And so we determined today to live for you, to be a, a brighter witness for you, that we will exalt the character of your son Jesus in our lives as we strive to be holy, as we strive to live in harmony with one another, and as we strive uh, to be honest to you, to ourselves, and with others. Now take us to God, to the next level, that we may glorify you through our service to others. Empower us, imbibe us with strength, with power, with zeal, with enthusiasm, to say yes to you, to say no to the world, and to proclaim that you are God. Right there, this will have hope. For in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.